Hi everyone. So today, just like I promised yesterday, I'm going to tell you about why I decided to start Cinedis and Hashtag. You know, I've lived in a lot of countries before. I lived in China, in Russia, in Brazil, in the US, in Switzerland, in Uruguay. Uh, I've been around the block, you know, I'm old now, you know, <laughs> even though I still hope I have some years in front of me. And, you know, I've seen a lot of very interesting things, economies that are growing very fast, um, you know, like the new economies of the BRICS, for example. Uh, but really, in the end, I decided to come back to Europe. And why? Because I believe that in Europe, of course, we have differences between, you know, French guys like me, German, Spanish, you know, we eat at different times. We uh, all love football, though, most of us, even though I prefer rugby. Uh, but the point is, we believe in a certain model of society where there is uh, freedom of expression, where there is a certain uh, democracy, there is actually a real democracy, and also where well, there is some kind of state present uh, to protect uh, people. And there is a health system as well. And those things, well, they don't really exist in other uh, systems uh, that can be more authoritarian, uh, and, you know, it's kind of nice to have the old Europe, you know, and people don't like the old nowadays, but it's nice to have Europe kind of standing for some values that can be uh, worthwhile for, for people. And uh, so the problem is that our system is under attack. There are cyber attacks everywhere. And what do cyber attacks do? They compromise our economies. They weaken our economies, our democracies, and therefore we have to fight them. So that's why I decided at my very modest scale to start Cinedis a cybersecurity and privacy company where we have both companies and individuals protect themselves online. And actually, you know, today in our daily news, I'm talking about uh, the NotPetya attack. You might remember it. It's from last year in June of 2017. It was actually Russia targeting Ukraine, but the consequences were worldwide. So, you know, it just shows that a cyber attack is not limited to a specific country or a specific target company. Once it spreads, it spreads like crazy. And that's why it's so important that we're very vigilant. So anything you can do to protect yourself is welcome. And I'll stop here for today. See you tomorrow. Cheers.